are related to sharks. Just like sharks, they have cartilage instead of bones. Cartilage is the soft bone on the tip of your nose. Can you feel it? When rays swim, they flap their pectoral fins like wings, kind of like a bat. There's even a ray called a bat ray. Does it look like a bat? Hmm. Rays are petoids, and I wonder if that's where the name comes from. Petoids have flat bodies like a plate. And they have gill slits on the underside. Sharks have gills on the side. Gates are another close relative of rays. Gates are also petoids, and they have gill slits on the underside. But the gate's tail isn't as long and skinny as the rays. One little difference. Rays give birth to alive young pups, but skates lay eggs in an egg case, also called the mermaid's purse. Okay, so now let's play a game of shark or ray. Are you ready? Let's go. What do you think, guys? Shark or ray? He kind of looks like a carpet, but it's a shark. It's flat bodies, but this one is called a wobbagum shark. You see the gills here. What about this one? Check out how it moves its pectoral fins. Yes, it's a stingray. See the gill slits here. Last round. This can be a tricky one. You got it right. It's a ray. This one's a sawfish. Sawfish swims more like a shark, but the gill slits are on the underside, just like a ray. For more than 150 million years, and they have over 600 species. Let's take a look at some of them. The largest ray is the giant manta ray. The wingspan can reach up to nine meters long. Giant manta rays are smart. They have the largest brain of any fish. Stingray is the most common ray, and there are many types, like the southern stingray, the blue spotted ray, and the eagle ray. Stingrays have long tails with venomous spines. They won't attack you first, but stingrays like to stay buried under the ocean sand, so be careful not to step on them. Stingrays' venom can be painful, but it's not deadly like the buck jellyfish venom. This fish is a ray too, even though it swims like a shark. Can you guess what this ray is called? Meet the guitar fish. See the gill slits on the underside. This ray has superpowers. It can make strong electric currents to protect itself from predators. And it's called an electric ray. Rays are carnivores. Rays have strong jaws, and they can eat shrimp and hard-shelled animals 
like crabs and clams. Many rays live and eat on the ocean floor. They are bottom feeders. So how do rays stay buried in the sand and breathe? Do you see these holes right next to the eyes? Those are called spiracles. It's kind of like nostrils. Rays use spiracles to breathe in and gills to breathe out. This way, they don't have to suck in sand. But not all rays are bottom feeders. The manta ray can fly out of the water. Many rays like to live by themselves, but they can form a group to breathe or migrate. This group of rays are called a fever, and it can become huge, like more than a thousand. That's a wrap for Dorothy's Ocean Book Array. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to subscribe.